Okay, hi. I wanted to do a get ready with me whilst talking about spiritually awakening because I love watching get ready with me is on here, but I feel like I want to talk about actual interesting things. I just realized that sounded like such a dig. That's not what I meant. I just want to talk about spiritual stuff because I've never seen people talk about it. So last night I went to an event and I could see how much pain people were in from going through spiritual awakenings. Like it's something that's not talked about a lot in the spiritual community. It's like it, there's so much love and light pushed out in this world um, through that agenda or through that those teachings. But in reality, when you are going into your awareness and you're going deeper and deeper into that, you're also going into so much darkness and so much pain and you're really diving deep within yourself and you also see the world in such a different way. Like your whole perception of the world changes. And when I went through my spiritual awakening many years ago, it was really, really hard because I couldn't see anything the same anymore in life. No matter how much I tried, um, I physically could not see anything the same. And so I really struggled to connect with humans. And it made me feel really, really isolated because not from an egoic standpoint, but I saw everything so differently from the way the world was, was perceiving it at the time. Because when you go through a spiritual awakening and your third eye opens or your psychic channel opens, you see through all illusion um, and you embody sovereignty and discernment. So you can kind of discern what feels right to you and what doesn't. And 90% of what the media is telling you, the music industry, Hollywood movies, doesn't resonate with you anymore. You don't want to go out to nightclubs. You don't want to drink alcohol. You don't want to watch Netflix. You don't want to do what so much people do, not out of like egoicness, but because you see the agendas behind everything. You see the distortion and the, the like darkness in so many different things. And so you start to go inward and your awareness starts to raise and expand. And it can be really overwhelming if you do not have people in your life to bounce those ideas off and to really share your epiphanies with, because if not, it could be immensely isolating um, and can even induce psychosis and different things like that because you literally can feel like you were going insane or you're going crazy. And on top of that, you still have to live your normal life and adjust to everything around you and try to keep up with that. I can't even imagine having kids while going through a spiritual awakening because kudos to you if that's the case. But what I can say is it's the biggest gift in the world. If you are a highly sensitive person, an empath, you are here and you are a gift to this world. I never forget that. You are here to share your magic with people that desperately need it. And this is where you become a lion and not a sheep. Is it a lion? You have to really honor yourself and follow your own path because it will never lead you astray. I can tell you that for sure. That soul family, those friendships, those relationships you crave, they will find you, I promise. Follow your heart and be true to yourself.